guys i don't know what this angle is like because you are just propped up currently on where i'm doing my makeup um but what i've done as a setup for makeup at the minute is i've got this like wooden tray um and i've got all my makeup on there and then just a mirror oh you've already broken there we go and then just a mirror in front of me um so this is my view here i am <laughs> It will look better soon. Um, but we've just got um, a wooden tray because I don't want to get the desk dirty. Makeup, hair bits, um, and I've just set up the desk so far with a work planner, some sellotape that will go in a cupboard. Um, put my pen pots in here, my pen pots, put my pencils, etc. in there. That's a Kate Spade little pen pot. Um, I've got my mouse and a little pencil case. Um, and then just throwing my laptop and my work bag under the table for now. Makeup brushes. And then everything goes back onto this tray, including the mirror. And I just pop it down there. So I've got some of my clothes on that rail with some hair bits. Um, I'm just going to pop some of the bits that I have left like on this tray down there for now. Because I don't really have enough room upstairs at the minute to do like my makeup and things in the bathroom. But also... Um, I don't really want to get it messy anywhere and once I've got my dressing table in then it will make such a big difference I'll have somewhere to like actually sit but obviously this is actually my desk I'm going to be working here from Wednesday um so I need to like be able to make sure that this tray can just um move from here to over there so that I've got a workspace um for myself it's really nice we've got two really big windows in this room um, and then there's the Jack and Jill um, bathroom and that's the airing cupboard and that's how to get back to the stairs. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know if I started this vlog, I don't know if I pressed record or not, but we've started like, um, you have to put the oven on for an hour um, to be able to to be able to use it you have to have put the oven on for an hour um, at like the hottest temperature and then for 15 minutes on the grill on the hottest temperature. But I'd had it on for 10 minutes and I was like, something doesn't seem right. But I was like, I'm going to vlog, start the vlog, say what I've started doing today. And then I looked in it and I was like, wouldn't, I was like, on the vlog. Oh, I don't think I've got anything in the oven. Looked and there was a sticker in the oven, like just a piece of paper in there. So I quickly turned it off. I couldn't find my oven gloves anywhere. It was going all brown, like cooking away this sticker. But thank goodness I took it out in time and sort of saw it. I thought, oh God. Um... It would just be me, wouldn't it? Um, so we've got that on now, doing that thing. Um, and the kitchen's really nice downstairs now, actually. I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, it's nice and tidy. We're keeping loads of boxes and rubbish in the garage because um, where we are, the developers actually give you a skip for a day or two um, to put all your rubbish in and your cardboard. Um, obviously, they don't want it like cluttering up the bins and making a mess on like the new build area where they're obviously still showing people round so they just give you a skip for the day to fill up so we're going to have that probably next weekend um i'll ask for that um once we've got like the bed packaging out the way once we've built all that and the mattress and the sofa and the sideboard so we've got a lot of cardboard coming away but i'm going to do my makeup now because my sister and al are coming at 11 and it's now 10 past 10 so i really do need to get on um and i'll see you in a bit we are just back from going to home base and where else did we go pets at home randomly um and also the range was it which one did we no we went to b and m not the range i was trying to think which one we actually went to so from the range why do we keep on saying the range from being m I got this Lloyd Grossman pour over creamy peppercorn and brandy sauce and I've never seen this before. I think it looks so nice. So when we have a steak, I thought I'd have that. Then Brandon got two of these, well, one of these Stormtrooper beers and two of these ones, the Galactic Pale Ale and the Sneaper. I don't know. Anyway, you got those. Then we've got some command hooks. So this is going to go in the cleaning cupboard for my washing up gloves and one of these for a tea towel. And then I'm going to put another one of these in near the microwave. So some microwave little bags. Then we've got some flat skewers from home base. Um, 50 of those, I think they were like £3. We've got some marshmallows for the barbecue tonight. 
I need to pop the, the toaster away. And then Brandon just got some Frosties um, just to have in the house. Um, we're just having a drink. Um, and I'm gonna prepare these strawberries um, and have some of this melon. My sister popped around earlier with Al um, and she got us this huge white company candle that I'm literally obsessed with. I absolutely love it. So thank you Georgina for that. Um, and then Lola, who's my sister's dog, um, got us this book from the Style Sisters. Um, that's a really bad angle, isn't it? There we go. Um, which is brand new out and it's all about helping you live an organised and stylish life. And look at the book, it goes really with the aesthetic. So I absolutely love that. And then, I don't know if I showed this yesterday, but Sam got me a white company tea towel. I think I said that though. And we also got a watering can from Home Base. And this is from B&Q a while ago. This is what Brandon's project this afternoon is. And then I'm going to wait for the sun to cloud over a little bit. And then I'm going to water the grass with this little watering can. But um, my sister's boyfriend's going to bring like a hose and all sprinkler systems that he's had for his garden that he's not using now. So we're going to sort that out probably on Wednesday night. Oh, you've got a beer. I got you out of lemonade. <laughs> I don't think you showed me on this without alcohol in my hand. <laughs> I'll put the lemonade away. <laughs> you looking forward to doing the barbecue? I am actually. Oh, another big update is Al put up the table. Um, so that's up now. Obviously, there's only one chair, so it looks a bit silly, but um, we've got another one of these chairs that I've just popped upstairs for my desk for now, but I'll bring it down when we sit inside for tea. But I think we'll sit outside today because it's literally the nicest weather. Um, so yeah, I think that's so nice. Um, it's from Next. It's my sister's old table, but I'm pretty sure they still sell it. Um, and the chairs are from Next, which are out of stock now. And when they come in, I'm going to try and get two more. But obviously, it's a little bit difficult at the minute now that they're out of stock. But then we're going to have the grey sideboard there. And this room's going to come together so nicely. And on the sideboard as well, we're going to have um, the orchid. So it's all going to come together lovely. So I'm just going to have some nice fresh fruit. Join Brandon out there. Um, and we're going to have a little relax before we do some more jobs. And then we're going to have duck burgers and bayo buns for tea on the barbecue. Okay, so I've just prepared some fruit and then this is for Brandon and this is for me. This is a little treat. Then I've added in a command hook and that is to hook on a tea towel. Then I've also added in a command like peg. Um, and that's to hook on the washing up gloves just to save some room. I've got out um, these utensils we got from Tesco. These are Landman. Um, for Brandon's barbecue later, we've got the marshmallows and the hot chocolate. This is instant milk chocolate fondue for your barbecue. It includes milk, chocolate, marshmallows and a foil tray. So we're going to do those later um, with the skewers. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited that I've got those bits all hooked on there. You just have to leave them a while before you can use them. Then in this cupboard on here, I'm wanting to hook on the slow cooker liners and also these um, soup and sauce bags, which I'm going to store um, bolognese and things like that in because you can defrost, microwave it and then eat it all in the bag. So um, I'm going to keep bolognese, chilli, things like that. So they're going to be hooked onto either this cupboard if I put the slow cooker in here or at the minute, the slow cooker is behind, this is a bit random, the glasses, um, the vase and that. So I'd put them on this wall because the toaster's there, my hotel chocolate maker and serving bowls, etc. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my fruit outside. Brandon is currently just building the barbecue. How's that going? Yep. Yep, I've brought you some chocolate. Thank you. So yeah, we're just going to enjoy this now and have a bit of a chill while I just watch Brandon make the barbecue. Okay, so I'm just in the middle of preparing some tea, but I thought I'd show you where I've got up to with the table. I've polished it all up. Hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference. Um, so it's really nice and polished now. And these are the gifts that my sister got me. I've just popped them on the table. I think they look really nice. And the chair looks really nice with it. Obviously it'll look better when there's another one. And it's such a nice sunny day still. Brandon is still building the barbecue. 
but we've got a lot of progress. Um, and I have been just prepping some food. So we're having duck burgers from m and tonight. So they are these hoisin duck burgers. A bit wet from being defrosted. And I've just prepped this salad and popped some cling film on the top. Um, and it's feta, spring onion and lettuce for Brandon. And then I've got the same bit with a few tomatoes as well. And then we've got some spring onion and I'm gonna pop some hoisin sauce. So let me see on the Lazy Susan, which I'm obsessed with. So this is the hoisin sauce. I'm gonna put us a little bit of this each in a bowl um, and they go in the bay ovens that are in there. So we're gonna have that. Um, and I'm also gonna do a few of these Charlotte potatoes just in the oven. So I've just opened up my new trays. I've also opened up my new Le Creuset um, oven mitts. Um, I got these for Christmas from my parents and I really, really like them. So I'm gonna use those. And we're also gonna have some of the glaze that I bought on the salad. And I'll probably just pop some crushed chilies onto the potatoes as well along with some fry lights, so that'll be really nice. Barbecue is having a bit of a trial and error moment. We're not um, pro barbecue, so we're just having a bit of an issue, but I'm having my salad to start with. So there's feta, spring onion, lettuce, tomatoes, and some of the balsamic glaze and some wine. So this is our first meal in the new house. Oh, We've God, got <laughs> crispy duck burgers. Yeah, but we've never barbecued before. Brandon's been really hard on himself about, um, sorry if you can hear the wind as well, about the barbecue, but we've never barbecued before. And I think that's a really good job. So these are duck burgers with the bay buns, spring onions, hoisin sauce, potatoes, and we ate the salad at the start of the meal. And there we are. It was so, so yummy. And we're gonna have um, like chocolate melted on the barbecue after. Okay, so we have just got pudding. Are you recording yourself? So I'm recording. The food, I'm not showing myself because I've got hoisin sauce all, of it, all over my face apparently. So I've got some strawberries, some marshmallows and some chocolate melted on the barbecue and Brandon's mum got us this set when we moved in. So I'm going to enjoy that now and Brandon's just filming my face dirty. Nice? Messy? Mm. 